Uh, we're going to see you shortly. Thank you, Dennis. About 10 months ago, it seemed like the big game probably wouldn't happen as we began our battle with the coronavirus. That's right, but new tonight, the NFL is reflecting on what went right to make the Super Bowl a reality during this pandemic and what it will take to keep things safe with just four days to go. Our Haley Bull leads off our team coverage tonight. Tonight, the NFL is taking a look at the steps they took mitigation-wise this season and the experiences that could help others, too. The stage is set for the Super Bowl, but getting to this point, a journey unlike any other in the midst of a pandemic. We feel that our club facilities truly were some of the safest possible locations in those communities. The league adapting measures throughout the season. Its chief medical officer points to the evolution of their definition of high-risk close contacts, implementing point-of-care PCR testing and their intensive protocol outlined recently in a CDC report. Unequivocally, yes, masks work and they are probably the most important risk mitigation strategy. I think that's one of the lessons that came out of our paper with the CDC last week. Here in Tampa, leaders are reminding people to wear masks, focusing on education. They're putting up signs and planning to hand out 150,000 of them to people in the downtown and Riverwalk areas. We want everyone to come to Tampa healthy, and we want them to leave healthy. You know, the only people leaving disappointed are the Kansas City fans, but it's also critically important as it affects our chances to have another Super Bowl. The Super Bowl this season, something NFL officials say has been a collaborative process. We've certainly worked closely with the folks here in Tampa throughout the course of Super Bowl as we look to get um, fans back into the stadium and to do so safely. But what's learned this year is something they hope helps others outside the NFL too. We're going to take our NFL experience and benefit many others outside the world of sports and across the country and really across the world. Masks are required in part outdoors in Super Bowl event zones and Tampa entertainment districts. In Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.